on this pair of uh, axe equipment. Today is uh, December the 20th, 2017, and we're looking at an SW50 um, gas heated unit with a um, fresh water rinse cycle. And with this one, we have built a custom head rack to uh, set the heads horizontally. In addition, we have built a uh, air blow-off system uh, to get rid of the uh, standing water on top of these cylinder heads. You'll see here we've got uh, four air amplifiers with another six, eight nozzles. Um, so we got a total of 12 air nozzles here. Uh, in the back over here, you're going to also have your rinse post that's going to come in. We'll go over here and take a look. Over here, you've got a uh, selector switch to work this. Wash is simply wash. Put in a wash cycle, turn the 30 minute timer on, and it'll wash. And you've also got a, uh, an off, off is off. Now, to go to when you want to rinse, you're going to simply go to rinse. Then down here, you're going to find a diverter handle right here. You're going to push that back like that. Lock it in, come up here, make sure you're in the rinse mode, turn your timer on for about five minutes, and you're gonna have fresh water come in through this post and through these nozzles and exit out this uh, ball valve here. Now, you also have an air cycle here. To, walk, to, to run the air cycle, you leave the rinse diverter handle in the same position and you go to air and then turn your timer on. Now, when you're in the air mode, do not go up to the selector switch and hit rinse, because if you do, it's gonna go into the rinse mode and you're gonna put fresh water right back on it. So let the timer run down before you go to that rinse mode. You've got, of course, your open door, your pneumatic door clamps here. You've got your uh, gas burner. You can put it in the auto position, in other words, it will come on automatically as a timer inside the box. Or you can program it to come on and off automatically. Or you can simply go to off or simply on. Let's say you're in the, in the auto mode and uh, you've got it set to come on Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. But you happen to come in on a Sunday or a Saturday and you want to use it, just turn it to the on position. And before you leave the shop, make sure you put it back in the auto position so it'll come on on that program time for Monday. Uh, of course, you've got a roll-out wheel here to roll this turntable in and out. So, you got a nice uh, uh, gas burner with forced draft air. All the controls are sitting inside a moisture-proof box. Uh, you've got a uh, built-in uh, air regulator and self-lubricator for the door clamps. This is an air inducer. And what that is, is if you're steaming real bad out the door, you can turn this valve and inject air up into the steam vent to get that steam going up. On this custom built unit, you'll see we've got the, uh, the rinse uh, solenoid here where your fresh water will come in. And then at the top one, you've got your air solenoid. That's where you're gonna hook your air up for this custom air uh, blow off system. You've got your uh, optional oil skimmer hole right here. This thing is powered with a 10 horsepower pump. Your uh, rinse handle, um, it's still in the rinse, it's, it's towards the back, so it's in the rinse or air mode. To go to the wash cycle, you've got to bring it back towards you. And what that does, that makes sure that you can't turn a wash cycle on with the rinse diverter open, because otherwise all your chemical would come out the, uh, out the valve. So we make it where you can't run the rinse cycle uh, with a pump on. Again, custom built. Um, this is cylinder head rack will hold four heads, all horizontally so that water runs out. And again, we've got that uh, fresh water rinse cycle in here. We've got an air uh, blow off system. Of course, lay down door like all axe machines. You get a digital temperature controller here. Really nice, really complete. No gaskets in the door, all sealless. 12 gauge cabinet, the 16 gauge outer skin. We've got uh, one inch fiberglass inside here. 
we built a 12 gauge laid insulation in here and then skinned it with 16 gauge all powder coated I'll roll this table in in, throw the wheel in, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna use two fingers to raise this door. That's what I call it, a two-finger door. So counterbalanced, spring loaded. Got a little filter basket out here in the front. This one happens to be 13 by 34 inches. You can also that will hold a set of cylinder heads. You can also get it in 24 by 34 and 24 by 55 inch capacities on the hot tank. Uh, for the best in cleaning, you know where to call Axe. That's AXE Equipment, 1-800-251-0018, or visit us on the web at axeequipment.com.